Hi everyone, Joe for jazpyscasebreaks.com with part two of random player break number two of 2019-2020 Gold Rush autograph hockey jerseys. I did two and then I forgot this one. I must be losing my mind. I think I was... I, honestly, the cup hockey is coming up next. I think I was really... I think I was really uh, just looking forward to that. So... All right, this is the third of three jerseys in this three-box break. If you're looking for the first two jerseys, that's in a separate video. All right, final box. What's going on? I just... All right. Just, I guess I thought it was... I thought it was the 20th, not the not the 17th. All right. I think there's only one of 16th. All right. Who am I? America's favorite game. Who am I? Am I an active player? Yes, I am an active player. Am I Canadian? I am Canadian. Born in Carmen, Manitoba and played junior hockey for the Winkler Flyers before going to the University of North Dakota, where I helped my school win the NCAA championship in the late 80s. I was not picked in the draft, signed as a free agent, alternated some time between the big team, big club, and the IHL. And um, I was undrafted, and then I'm, because I was like, I heard of this guy too. Many regard me as an elite goaltender and one of the best of all time, but I was undrafted. That's wild. I don't know how often that happens. Apparently, my son is also a goaltender and currently playing for the University of Nebraska, Omaha. And I was inducted into the uh, Hockey Hall of Fame in 2011 in my first year of eligibility. I guess I'm not active anymore. Oh, I'm pretty old right now. I'm 54 years old. Uh, I'm also one of the only two players to have won an NCAA championship, an Olympic gold medal, and a Stanley Cup. The, only, the other such player being Neil Broton. I have a characteristic face mask that earned me the nickname mm, The Eagle. And my some of my quirks and off-ice antics earned me the nickname Crazy... Mm, my first name. Played for uh, one, two, three, four, five NHL teams in my entire career. Yep, there you go. Kevin's got it. I think Randy Ness got it, Eddie the Eagle, Randy, Jack B. Yeah, Ed Belfour. I'm assuming this looks like Blackhawks colors right here. So there's his autograph right there. There you go. So apparently struggled with with some alcohol issues, according to William and Kevin. Do we want to look up the personal part of his? Uh... Oh dear. Oh. Hmm. He uh, apparently he pled guilty to a misdemeanor charge in the early two thousands. After a woman he was with became frightened by an intoxicated Belfour in a Dallas hotel room, while under arrest and being transported to the local division, he allegedly offered Dallas police officers $1 billion for his release without charges. He apologized to the Star Wars organization, police officer, blah, 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 and was fined $3,000 for arrest, uh, resisting arrest. Yeah, he's, he's hopefully, I don't know how he's at, where he's at right now, but... But hopefully, he's back on the he's on the track of uh, sobriety, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're done with this break. Thanks for watching part two. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.